Hey guys, welcome to CRNT Designers, Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to learn to make a shield in Blender. So let's get started. So delete everything and we will make the shield with the help of plane. So add a plane, shift A for that and then go to the edit mode, press tab for that and delete, add a loop cut and then delete one side words. Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Then just adjust its skill, you can move them, move the words along the y-axis and then try to get the shape for your shield. And you can add a loop cut, Ctrl R for that and give the right factor amount. It's totally depend on your design. And then select this edge and then extrude this edge. Press E to extrude. And then you can choose the move tool to give the position for the shield parts ok that's look pretty well now you can select everything and then move it along the y axis now i want to create the center part of the shield so that's why select everything one more time and move them move it along the x axis and you can see I have created only one side of the shield center part then you can add a mirror modifier so add a mirror modifier and choose the proper axis and then you can move the words along the x axis make sure you should turn on that clipping option in the mirror modifier so you won't face any trouble later now you can select these edges and you need to move these edges along the z-axis so just select these edges and move them along the z-axis like this and just try to get the shape for your shield and it's a totally creative process then you can add a loop cut It's totally depend on your design then select this edge and then extrude it and just try to create a design more good design so that's why I have I'm using a simple move tool to move the words and just I'm trying to create a shape then add a loop cut here you can merge those words like at the center means those words together otherwise you can keep it as it is just total depend on your design so the that uh, the current part will be separated from the outer part if you keep as it is then otherwise you can just uh, merge them together so just move it along the z axis because i want to merge the words together and i just want to connect that part to the outer part so that's why I just select this edge uh, words and then press m to merge then you will get the options and merge at center you can choose then you need to add the solidify modifier and give the proper thickness for your solidify modifier and now just move here and there to get the proper shape now select these faces so just I want to create a little bit more design so that's why you need to select this face and I will use the simple insert operation just I just want to create a little bit of design so that's why I have tried different ways here so you can go with the extrude you can go with the insert so you can go with the first extrude and then insert otherwise you can go with the first insert then extrude something like that so just insert this face and then you can extrude it out otherwise you can move it along the, its normal so that's why you need to change the direction right there 
like this and then scale it down just adjust its scale so that's why you can use the different axes to adjust its scale then select this spaces same step here you just need to insert it and then move it along its z axis local z axis means the normal z axis and then just you need to create a simple design on it which is not more difficult and now select the center face and then insert and then press B to avoid that boundary and then you can you will get this kind of shape here and then just move you need to move it along the Z axis if you didn't press B key after uh, pressing I for the insert operation then you will get the boundary from the all side so that's why you need to press the B right there and same kind of step is here also for this part I have used and you can see we have created the simple base mesh for our so uh, shield center part and we can go ahead and we can add more details on it but this is model is for the production work so we will we have to use the subdivision surface modifier to make it much more good and to get that proper shape so you can try different varieties on your shield but i feel that this is fine Now just select these faces and then insert these faces. It will help you to tighten the geometry after adding the subdivision surface modifier. Now you can see here is a little bit of thing I have created and similar kind of thing each you can create for this upper part also just you need to select the faces and then you can extrude it and change it to the global and then just extrude it you need to change your gizmo every time if it's if you want to move it along the normal then you have to change it to the normal and if you want to move it along the global axis or local axis then you have to change it for those options so then it will be more handy or pretty good so you can easily move your faces words anything and you can see i have created that age also transformation orientation So here I need to do the edge slide because the gizmo knots work proper the transformation would enter knots work proper so just I need to use the edge slide otherwise I need to use the move tool like this to get it the vertical 90 degree. And then you can add the supportive loop cuts, supportive edges, anything you can call it. Then shade smooth it and then add a sub D modifier means subdivision surface modifier. And now you can see weirdness on your mesh because of the subdivision surface modifier. Just we need to add a loop cut supportive edges, which is important in the production modeling workflow, production modeling process because we smooth it with the help of subdivision surface modifier so that's why we have to add the supportive edges, supportive geometry so just add a loop cuts like this wherever it's necessary there you can add a loop cuts
Now you can see here is a little bit of problem and we can solve it. We can merge these faces means we can connect these two parts together by merging the words there that that's one option is there so for that just you need to delete these faces and then you can merge them together so you can see these faces gets overlap to each other so that's the bug is there and we can easily solve it so just add a loop cut there if you you can go with the loop cut otherwise you can go with the you can connect that to the outer edge also so i will select that i decided to go with the loop cut here then delete this faces and delete this face also okay now you can see and just i need to connect these words So select this edge and then press F to fill the gap. Select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. And now you can see we have solved that issue. And so now we need to add one more time the supportive loop cuts here. I like to keep turn off that subdivision surface modifier while adding the loop cuts so I get a proper position for my loop cuts and if I want to see the effect after adding the loop cuts then you can add the then you can turn on that modifier to view the final version of your mesh So just add a loop cuts wherever it's necessary. So now you can see here is a little bit of problem we are not getting that sharper edge here just because of that rotation angle because we had moved it along the normal and we got this problem so just you can dissolve these edges and then we need to rotate it then we will get the sharper edge which we want right there so that's why you need to dissolve these edges loop cuts so it's, and then you need to select the faces
so just dissolve the loop cuts and then select these faces and now you can adjust the angle of this edge so just select that edge and then rotate it along its uh, along the axis so you can choose the normal transformation orientation to the normal and then you can rotate it in the proper angle so I think this is also we need to rotate so just rotate it and then you will get the sharper edge right there and so we will get the good mesh right there and then we need to add loop cuts one more time here so just add a loop cuts And now you can see we have got that sharper edge a little bit so just we need to add few more loop cuts and now you can see that look pretty well and you can see our mesh looks pretty well so add a loop cuts at the bottom uh, back side if it's necessary then otherwise it's fine so rotate around your objects and then see it how does it look if you feel satisfied then it's fine and if it's not then adjust it just try to push it as much as you can so you will get the better shape for your mesh and now you can see it's look pretty well so add a loop cut here one look at here and that's look pretty well decent kind of modeling we have done here decent kind of so now we will make the outer part of the shield which will protect our soldier so that's why just you need to add a blend and delete it one side because we will use the mirror modifier so just start, start to create the shape it's like a curved shape and then we will add little bit of details on it so just the simple just follow the center part and according to that we need to create the outer part because we will join the outer part to the center core part so that's why you need to follow the center part here and create the geometry according to it so just add a loop cut here and then move it along the x-axis like this if it's necessary then add more loop cuts and then add a loop cuts and build a curved shape right there just create a simple curved shape 
and don't worry about the shape because we will add the sub D modifier so it will get the perfect curvature. Just fix the word from the just it should be like a curve. Okay, then you can select this edge and then move it along the x axis. And now, with the help of knife tool, you can add the details on it. Means just we need to trim this. So, just select the words and use the knife tool you need to select the first point the second point and then third and then end points so in this way and then after that just press enter to complete that knife operation cutting operation then you will get one edge and then you need to add a pebble on that edge so you will get the faces and then finally you need to delete that faces and then we will create the good topology right that means core based topology that's that is the later part first you create the basic design for your shield so that's why you need to use the knife tool and with the simple trimming operation we are going to do here Like this, you need to add the mirror modifier there, so you will get the symmetry to the another side. Then just you need to add a loop cuts and then create a simple design. So now just you need to add the solidify modifier and the subdivision surface modifier. It's totally depend which you want to add first. So you can add the first solidify modifier or subdivision surface modifier but make sure your solidify modifier should be top on your subdivision surface modifier. So then we will get that right thickness. So that's why I have added the solidify modifier first and then I have added the subdivision surface modifier and now you need to maintain the curve shape according to your subdivision surface modifier 
so that's why you need to write h flow and that's why you need to read topology means uh, you need to create a right topology right at the so you need to edit the topology of the current mesh so that's why you need to connect the words together remove some edges and this kind of stuff you have to do there So now just add a loop cuts from the side also. And you can see we have created the outer shape of a face shield which is very easy just we have added the loop cuts we have used the knife tool to create a simple design on it and with the help of simple plane we have modeled the outer part of the shield which looks pretty cool awesome modeling we have done here so now we will create the holding part of the shield so that's why I just need to add a few loop cuts so add a few loop cuts and fix it fix them according to your shield size and then add a bevel on their loop cut and give the proper amount for the width and then you need to add a loop cuts like this so now you need to select these faces and then insert these faces you can go with the insert operation otherwise you can as go with the as it is so just insert these faces and then extrude it along and then move it along the z axis and then you need to rotate it 
and then one more time extrude and then just adjust its position and you can use the bow tool for that and then you can delete the faces so after position giving the right position you can delete the faces and then select these edges and then extrude them and then move it along the x axis and then connect them because we have added the mirror modifier right there so we can easily connect them so just now you need to add the loop cuts which will support our geometry and we will get the proper shape for our mesh so just add a loop cuts here and one loop cut here also and you can see the different varieties after adding the loop cuts so you will get different shapes and forms as you add the loop cuts so you can check the different shapes different forms of your shape adding the loop cuts so just add a loop cuts and see what looks good or what's not So now you can see that it's pretty well decent kind of modeling we have done here. So now we need to add a little bit of paint on our shield. So that's why we need to add the lattice here. So add a lattice, shift A and then add a lattice and give the scale according to your shield size. So that's why just you need to use the scale tool and move tool for that. Okay, it should be bigger than your shield. So give the right scale for your letters. And then select your mesh and then add a lattice modifier on it. Both inner part, center part and the outer part. And in the lattice option, in the lattice modifier, you need to choose our lattice. Then select your lattice and then go to the lattice option or lattice properties there. And just we need to increase the resolution, vertical resolution and horizontal resolution at there. And then you can select your lattice and then go to the edit mode. And then you will get the same kind of words as like uh, words of the object in the edit mode. And then just you need to move these words. Because we have given the same lattice to both object, our center object and the outer object so we can deform the lattice and we can easily deform our mesh it's like a both object center object and outer object of the shield so which is pretty handy and easily we can add the curve on our shield and you can see our shield looks pretty well decent kind of modeling decent kind of everything we have done here And you can give the curve according to you as you like. 
if you want more curve then you can go for it but make sure it should have good subdivision on it if you are going to add more curve on it if you want to add more bend on your shield then you have more subdivision so you won't face any problem later so shift d just for the backup shift d to duplicate and just make a backup collection of it and then you can apply the lattice modifier on both objects like a center and outer part of the shield and then you can delete that lattice and then just rotate it you can parent uh, both objects together and then rotate it into the 90 degree and you can see our shield is ready that uh, so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care